have another quick look at this strand offset and how it works. And basically what it does is it's it will break up the strand into other strands, but you have to add a sort of list of numbers that makes sort of sense to it. So um, just sort of, let's make this, I'm gonna make this 60. Uh, I'm gonna make these 0.25, so I'm gonna make it shorter again. Uh, does it actually, does it bother? I'll just do 20 actually in one. Leave it as it was. So this is made up, the strand is made up of 20 segments. Um, and what you can do is you can tell the strand that you don't want it to be one long line you can basically make it into separate little lines um, but you have to give it this strand offset and how strand offsets work are um, you basically let me think how to sort of explain this um, hang on Actually, it's just easier to explain it by doing it. I was going to start drawing and writing stuff out, but it usually gets more complicated because of my illiterate handwriting. Um, so, let's just work out how we can how we do this. So, it basically needs a an array of u u ints. If you can see mouse over there, you see that's at the bottom u ints, which are unsigned integers. Um, so, let's make another sequence array. Tab sequence array. Like that, and we're gonna actually do value type. Uh, da, 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 da. I haven't got an unsigned. Oh, all supported. There we go. Unsigned int like that, um, and I am gonna make it ten long with a step of two. Let's plug that in and see what happens. And there we go. So, um, let's see if we can visualize that. I've got a new, uh, have I got it here? No. Um, someone on one of the forums has made a really good uh, visualizer of some of this stuff. So let's do, let's visualize it. So, if I've got this thing here, um, I can give you this actually. I'll talk to you in the lesson about it if anyone wants it. Um, right, so I'm just going to plug this into the output, and when it, if I plug it into the output, it should show. So, and we can now look at that. So this is basically what I've just made. I've made an array of ten numbers that go up in two, and we can see now. If we get rid of that, we've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So starts off at zero, and then basically you're saying at two, break. So zero, one, two, stop. Then it starts again at uh, three, and then goes up to four, break. And then starts again at five, and then goes up to six and breaks. So basically these numbers are where you want to cut it. So it's going to cut at two, um, and start again at three, cuts at four, starts again at five, and starts at two. So these are basically cut numbers. It's quite, not massively easy to get your head around to begin with. It took me a while to realize how these work. So that's saying from zero to one, cut at two, and then starting at three, and you can't get at four. And it's because you don't see the three numbers, it sort of confuses you. But basically, just think of these as cuts. And it's just going to at two, cut, at four, cut. So if I change this array to go, say I went to two and did 10. Oh, oh, hang on. That probably won't work. Let's just visualize that again. What does that do? Refresh. Yeah, so that's, that's going to just go to 10, and afterwards it's not going to happen. So I'm going to want three, perhaps. There we go. So if I refresh that, we're getting 0, 10, and 20. So it goes up to 10, cut, and from 11 to 20. There is no 20 because it's 19, but it doesn't really matter. It just will stop it at the end. Um, so that's how that strand offset works. Um, it's a little bit complicated to get your head around to begin with, but once you do, it, sort of, it can be quite handy um, for breaking up, if you want to break up these sort of strands. 
Anyway, so I just thought I'd explain what that offset does and how it works. You need to put in an array of, or a list of these unsigned integers, which basically are the same as the length of it, but you put the cuts in where you want them. So I've got three cuts. So just to sort of clarify that again, I went to say four and did uh, five. There we go. So that's how that works. Three, so you can do all that. Six, there we go. Seven, no, oh yeah, you got one seven. So yeah, because seven will be 21, wouldn't it? So just under 21. So that's how you do that if you want to do these. And it can be handy if you're doing slightly more sophisticated stuff than what I'll be showing you, but I just thought I'd show the basics of what this offset is. So uh, if I refresh that, sorry, because that's old data. So cut three, cut six, cut nine. So cut three, start again at five, cut six, start again at seven, cut again at nine, and start again at 10. And that's what this is visualizing here. 